Welcome everybody. We are here in the TQ Live Land tournament hosted by Billiards, eSpot Billiards and Arcades. I forgot the eSpot in front of that, but that's okay because this game is going to be awesome. It is a TVP of Wild Styles, a Terran in the top right, going up against CSO Anemone, a finalist in the last TQ Live Land tournament. So it's going to be awesome to see how this plays out. I am TQ Xander, and along with me, as always in these tournaments, is the most loveliest of voices that is... <laughs> Uh, TQ Atticus, and I'm glad to be here again, Xander. Um, also glad to be casting on Emony's games. He was always fun to watch, and we were just talking about one of the, his uh, PVZ strategies, which was a, a six-gate robo warp prism warp in push oh, yeah. on, a, on Scrap Station oh, on yeah. one base. It was amazing to see. That VOD is on YouTube.com slash XanderFeverSC. Xander is with a Z, and it is just an awesome game. I'm pretty sure uh, we were just screaming the entire time, like, oh my god, this is so cool. I want to see this happen every <laughs> single day of my life. I need, um, I need, I need the Koreans to, uh, to start talking about some of these strategies very loudly. Because it's, it's certain games like that where I just need to be able to yell, Choboling! Really loudly. <laughs> or some version of that. Because that, that game is absolutely ecstatic. Yes, definitely. It was definitely one of the most fun games to ever see. Um... But I really want to see what Anemi's going to do in this PVT. He's a very strong Protoss player. I've talked to him a little bit about strategies and things, and he does know the game fairly well. It's kind of awesome to see. So, um... It's believe... worth a note, oh, by the way. Sorry. Sorry to inter interrupt, but I just wanted to, to remember before I, I completely forgot about it that he did lose that 6-gate Robo Warp in, because it was, of course, off one base. Yeah, but it was still amazing to see, and it did look very viable in some respects. Yeah. But now um, we gotta watch. See, was it? I think it's actually he changed his uh, tag, so it might be on Team CSO, whatever CSO is. I do not know that. But if he is on a team called CSO, I do want to plug them because Anemone is awesome. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he um, SC Anemone last time? He was SC Anemone. Yeah. Um. So that issue, if you want to look at that on my channel, it is going to be SC Anemone versus Psycho. I want to say it was Game Two. I really want to say it was Game Two. I do not know for certain, though. I think you're right. All right, but now, um, right now, Anemone is getting his second gas. We're going to be finished by the same time as his Cybernetics Core. So he does have a lot of gas incoming. He's got enough to get a Stalker and Warp Gate ASAP, if he wishes. See if he throws down a Robo. He does throw down the Robo. So we have an ASAP Robo even before Warp Gate right now. Yeah, one gate Robo, not a very common style. Yeah, I've seen it a little bit more often now, but getting it before Warp Gate... Is, and a century before Warp Gate 2. This is a little bit of a different One Gate Robo than is generally seen if a player decides to go One Gate Robo. So this could be very interesting to see what he's gonna, how he's gonna use this. Um, Do you have I'm, any predictions? I'm trying to think of that in my head right now. It might be an Immortal push, like a three Immortal push, uh, getting the morals out ASAP. It could be many things, but the fact that. If this is going to be a very interesting thing, and it's actually going to get scouted. He's not going to know about the warp gate timing and everything, but he's going to see the very fast robo. And this, oh, it's so unfortunate to get that SCV in there. It gets in right before the century, and that's really going to hurt Anemone to have that happen. And there is a chrono boosted immortal that also gets scouted. Yep, very, very critical scout. Um, I do believe Wild Styles is going to be in a comfortable position as he has already started a good deal of Marauder production. Yeah, but that if it is going to end up becoming an immortal push, which I do believe it will be, then that high marauder count is going to flow into Anemone's hands so easily. And he's got enough for an immortal right there. Yeah, there it is. We do have this second immortal coming out. Um, so I'm definitely predicting a three immortal push. Yeah, he should have enough marines to hold this off, though. It's going to be tricky. Uh... Is he doing pure Marauder? He's not doing pure Marauder production. That actually might save him. Uh, all I know is that if uh, Wild Styles had gone for the two reactors and one tech lab, like the Acer game always does, then that could just destroy this build instantaneously, as those Marines would wreck the Immortals. Yeah, Warpgate research finishing now. Do you think... Yep. Uh, right before I got a chance to say it, the Nexus does drop down. I think instead of uh, trying to push out with these, he's just using the high gas count to get Immortals and Sentries to just stay safe for an Expo. A little bit of an odd way to Expo, but we'll see if it's effective nonetheless, as it's going to be put to the test. Wild Styles is moving out. Yeah, and uh, I think this is going to be enough to actually shut down Anemone. 
unless Anemone can get some great force fields off and get a few more units out in time. This is going to be a little bit rough to deal with. I do not know if he's... He did scout it with this uh, probe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's really with this low army count from either side, it's going to come all down to the force fields. He's got to get the... He's got to control the choke. Control the choke, get force fields down, split the army in half. That's what he's got to do. And he does do that successfully. He's got a guardian shield. There's the guardian shield. And he's going to be able to hold this actually very easily. He's not going to lose anything. And Wild Styles just lost a lot. Perfectly done. That, that choke control. Absolutely crucial and completely shut Wild Styles down. Yeah, those immortal DPS just doing so well. Look at that. Four kills on that immortal. That is so, so key. Zealot's taking, tanking a lot of the damage. Guardian Shield dealing very well with the Marine DPS. And look at this. A pylon from Anemone <laughs> is going to be in the natural expansion, preventing any expo from Wild Styles, who is uh, not even playing expo. He's getting a factory right now. Yeah, very well-timed Manor Pylon, as right about now is when Terran needs to be considering an, an expo. Yep, and... Um, I don't think what there it is. Wild Styles throwing down the command center inside his main base, so that proxy pylon, well proxy pylon slash manor pylon, is not going to do too much damage. It will just give him the crucial scouting time of knowing when the expansion is being wanted from Wild Styles. Yeah, pylons like that really only slow down a Terran when they uh, tell a command center or an orbital to float over blind without moving troops over there first. Exactly. But as it is in, is in his natural, really shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep, and now Anemone's doing a good transition, putting down three more gateways and getting a forge. He'll be starting to upgrade, and he can detect to either Templar or Colossi right now if he so desires. He does have that safety. Um, just a matter of what Wild Style is going to choose to do, but really... Anemone is in command of this game. It is up to Wild Styles to do something weird. Yeah, I gotta say, I really... like. We, we started off uh, analyzing this as an unorthodox build, that early Immortal, but uh, up against pretty heavy three barracks pressure with Marauders, that held it off very well. Oh yeah, incredibly easily. Um, Anemone is definitely worth in this build. He's got a lot of sentries, and he's keeping the sentries alive. That is so key. Whenever sentries are in play, you have to keep them alive, because it's so just gas-heavy to rebuild them and get those force fields back into play. Yep, Anemone moving out at a perfect time. Uh, Terran's command center is just finished and morphing to an orbital, and now he's going to move up to this pylon to try to keep this expansion from going down as long as possible. Yep, all he Perfectly needs. Perfectly done. Yep, there's one force field up at the top, and he's... Oh, force field that in half. Yes! Great oh, force wow. fields. Perfect force field. It's going to absolutely decimate this army, but the immortals are getting targeted up from the high ground from Wild Styles, and this immortal is actually going to go down. That is... Yep, a bit of a misposition, but he's still doing a lot of damage. Yeah, so Wild Styles is taking a lot of hurt from that, and this proxy, this manor pylon is now a proxy pylon officially. That is so good. This immortal is still alive, and here we go. The um, having this observer is going to allow him to actually attack up onto the high ground. Uh, Medivac is out, but this is not going to be changing much. Where are the four shields, guardian shields? Let's see this. Oh, he just pulls back and kills those SCVs. There it is. Good control over there. SCVs are trapped and going to go down so quickly. Yep, and as he continues to warp in, all the SC most of the SCVs have been pulled. This really isn't looking good for Wild Styles at all. He's going to have to pull off a miracle defense here to even think about staying in the game. Yeah, and now uh, Weapons Upgrade is about to finish from Anemone. He is having a great, great time with this, controlling every single aspect of this game. Wild Styles is even being forced to produce SCVs right now as he lost a lot of them in that attack. Yeah, Anemone, very sound strategy. Yeah, and it's, oh, he's just controlling this game so well. This is beautiful to see. And now, oh, he's got to watch a good force. He's going to prevent all these guys from running around. Stim going down, but Anemone has such good concave. He can just attack and move. And there's GG from Wild Styles. Wow. Anemone controlling that perfectly. Very cool to see.